So what, I guess, kind of piggybacking off that, what's your opinion on athlete podcasts and the, the state of where sports media is at today? I love it. If you are all in on ball and if you're all in on your sport, uh, with the help of NIL, I think that every athlete now is getting to probably the college level and realizing that they're more of a business than they are just, you know, an athlete, a product out in the field. So if you're all in on ball and you plan on winning a lot of championships, the easiest avenue to treat yourself like a business is to, to you know, own your own you know, distribution, to, to, to you know, use your brand in a way that allows you to monetize. So for those who are out there who have, you know, focus, who are focused in on, you know, having long careers, 10, 15 year careers, uh, I love what Draymond's doing. I love what Pat, uh, with, uh, with uh, Podcast P and Paul George. I love what New Heights is now. I think that, you know, for the first time ever, there's this unfiltered lens of, you know, the perspective of the athlete um, into, you know, their life versus someone's, you know, curated and uh, created perspective from the typical media outlet. So I love what it's doing for the business. Uh, I, so as I say that, you know, I didn't want to be a motivational speaker. It's less that, that I think that it's not a great market to be into. I'm, I'm a big fan of it. I just think personally, uh, you know, I'm not just an all ball guy. So I, I think that, uh, doing that would be something that once again might be expected of someone who you would rather consider all ball. Yeah, I think it's I think it's really cool because to something that you said for the longest time, it was only one perspective and it was the perspective of a journalist or an interviewer. And you never really got the firsthand experience of the athlete besides, you know, your documentaries or, you know, specifically curated content like that. But now you get this whole different perspective where to your point, you know, the Paul Georges of the world, the Pat Bevs and, and all these other people, New Heights, you get their direct experience from a certain game or a certain, you know, whatever they're going through. And I think it's really cool. And I, I think it's a, it's a good balance because someone like myself who's an outsider, I think I can offer a perspective maybe as an interviewer that perhaps another, you know, uh, you know, football player, or basketball player might not be able to offer versus, you know, they obviously have a much different um, perspective as well. So I, I think it's a really cool mix. I think ultimately it's great for sports media. I agree. I, like I, I, my best, I, 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 the best content that I think that's out there that I consume is podcasts. It's raw. It's long. It's, you know, doesn't have the opportunity to be, you know, combed through and turned into some crazy sound bites. Um, and to now have guys that are accepted of doing that while in the season, I think is the best part. You know, that's maybe doing it in the off season and having a media career, you know, off the field. Um, and off season is something that uh, has been around for a while, but now you're starting to get these, you know, true, uh, you know, unfiltered perspectives that, that are telling you the insides and outs of exactly how Pat Bev feels today after, you know, a loss and, you know, game 40 of a, of a, of a long season. That perspective is one that I think brings players close or p players closer to fans, and ultimately uh, allows for the players to have you know just more ownership of of, of their brand. You know, once again, I think that we uh, now live in a world where uh, the word equity is is, a, is the buzzword that's going around the locker room. It's no longer you know uh, uh, five year contract, stay here, camaraderie, uh, uh, you know, legacy. But now it's, you know, as, as we start to flip the script and realize that, you know, we are a product that drives revenue for, you know, a bigger entity, the more that we have that information and understand how that works, the more, you know, we want to now start to own our, uh, you know, uh, connection, our pipeline to, to the fan. And that's, that's ultimately where you can make money long term from.